welcome to Crafty Clegg's Creations. I'm Jeanette and today it's a little bit different than my normal um, layout format, whatever you like to call it. Um, last week I was tagged by Natasha from Stitches and Hooks um, for the, I think this is it, and you know, you all know me by now if it's wrong I shall put it on the screen. I think it's hashtag Amigurumi books. And she just tagged me and said, well, it's just to show everybody what books and talk about what books I've got. Now, I do have quite a few books. And for those of you that are um, a regular around here, you will know I am in the middle of clearing out my craft room. And I have gifted quite a lot of my books. Um, I've kept a lot of my favourite ones and so I've got together a few of my books that I like and I'm going to share them with you. They're all amigurumi so they're all toys or as I like to call them my creatures um, and I'm going to share some of my books with you and I think that you're supposed to nominate another tag um, which I will have to think about that before the end of the video. Um, now the thing is, I have made quite a few of these things out of my Amigurumi books, but unfortunately, I have either gifted them. I last year sold a lot of my Amigurumi to try and raise money for Ukraine, so I sold an awful lot of my toys then and sent the money over to Ukraine. So I haven't got very much out of my books that I've made that I've got with me because I've either gifted them or I've sold them. Anyway, without further ado... I will get into. I mean, I think it's your top 10. Well, I've got a pile of them here. So I'm just going to show you the odd ones and then we'll do a little tag um, and we'll have a little chat at the end. So my first one is by Erin Lee. Now, I have had this one a while. I've never made anything from it. I've always wanted to make this one. And I'll tell you who inspired me to buy this book. And it was Stephanie from The Crafty Dragonfly. She had made this middle creature here. Oh, and it was adorable. I absolutely loved it. I, I, I can't recommend enough a lot of these Amigurumi books. They are, if you are a lover of toys like I am, I absolutely love making toys. And it's probably increased my love for making toys has probably increased in the past probably two maybe three years and it's all I seem to want to do now is make toys and knit blankets or crochet blankets right let me show you out of this one like I said this is the Amigurumi treasures let me see if I can find it the trouble is I have to keep looking down while I'm looking for this what I should have done is been a proper podcaster and put notes in between the pages that I wanted to show you. But you know me, I don't do organised or proper. Here on my channel, what you see is what you get. No fanciness, but I found the one I want to make. So here it is. Oh, isn't that adorable? Now, I, in fact, I've just, I just know who I'm going to nominate. I'm going to nominate Steph from The Crafty Dragonfly, but we'll do that after. So I'm going to make this one or I'd like to make this one. The thing is, I've got all these books and I love books, but I've also got thousands and thousands and thousands of patterns on my iPad that are by singular. So I've got an awful lot to get through. So I don't want to sort of not overcommit myself, but I don't want to choose too many because I probably won't get around to making them all this year. But I am definitely out of this book going to make this. Is that not adorable? And some of the, I mean, some of these books, they're so easy to follow. The instructions are, oh, but look at this one. <gasps> look at that one there. Oh, my goodness. See, it's that long ago since I got these books and I've not had a flick through them. Oh, dear. And this is Erin. Look at Erin. There's Erin on the back there. That's a lovely author. So, yeah, I'd really, really like to make that one. So that's my first one, the Amigurumi Treasures. I've had this maybe two years. Yeah, so that's my first one. Now, my second one, or my second choice, is you're not going to be surprised when I show you these. 
everybody I know has got these. Well, nearly everybody I know. Pika Pal, one, two and three. Now, I can show you. I'm sure you've all seen the Pika Pal books. They have been very, 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 very popular. Um, they're just fantastic books. They're just so well written. The illustrations are lovely. The choices of animals that there is to make are just phenomenal. See, look at this. Oh, I love that. And I also, whoops, dropping them. So this is Victor Frog, this is. And I actually made Victor Frog. Here he, here he is, Victor Frog, with his skirt and his handbag. But it doesn't matter, does it? So that is what I made out of there. And I made this, oh, maybe two, three years ago. I put pink panties on her. So she is a girl, but she's just not called Victor Frog. She's called Victoria Frog. <laughs> and so that was out of this one. And also out of this one, which again, I don't, I don't really know what to tell you about these books other than they're fabulous. Every book I have, I just think it's fab because somebody's gone to the trouble of writing the patterns, putting them down, illustrations, pictures, they're all just fabulous. Here we go. Crocodile. This is all out of book Pika Pal 1. And that's Rene. And here he is. And again, here she is. I obviously have a thing for girls, haven't I? Because I've done a pink instead of blue. So I've done pink and white instead of blue and white. <laughs> and she's got a party hat on with her rosy red cheeks and a little dicky bow. Isn't it fab? I just love these. I just love everything about making toys. Big crocodile eyes. Aren't they lovely? Um, I haven't got much to show you in the way of podcasts um, as well this week. When I say podcasts, I mean finished items, crocheted, halfway through items, anything really. I've had a really busy week. And so there isn't going to be your normal um, podcast this week because I haven't really got much to show you. There's just no point in me doing it. This is why I thought I'd do my review on my books. So that's one and the two that the two items that I've made out. This is the book number two, and I'm ashamed to say I haven't made anything out of this yet. And again, I have had this a couple of years. Um, I do have, see, I saw this. I absolutely love this. And as soon as I saw that, I thought of Ali from Little Drops of Wonderful. In fact, I'm not, I'm not sure if Ali's not made that. I could be mistaken there, so don't quote me on that one. I'm not really sure. I love this absolutely fabulous now i do know that elise from les petite saint crochet has made that that's on um when she podcasts that's in one of her on one of her shelves in her craft room i've seen that a couple of times um and again oh look at this one oh, i love that yeah again i don't know what to say other than these books are fabulous everything in them i love so some more than others see i'm not super keen on this one i'm not going to lie i'm not super keen on that is that a sloth yeah see i'm not keen on sloth that's a bit mean isn't it but hey it is what it is you either like stuff or you don't now i like this this is nice the, this this little kitten or this little cat isn't that lovely i like that so that's book number two and I'm ashamed to say I've not made anything out of that. But then I've recently got book number three. Now, my friend in America, Jackie, made me do this. So if you're watching Jackie, this is all your fault. I watched her, I um, don't know if she did an unwrapping on Instagram. Excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. I'm back, my sneezing fits over. Um, yeah, I don't know if Jackie put it on her Instagram feed as a little um, video. I can't remember how she did it or whether it was just a picture and I saw it and I thought, oh, I'll have to have that. Look at this. This is definitely what I want to make. Let me find that for you. Oh, but look at these. 
Hold on a minute. Wait there. Don't go anywhere. Look at this. Oh, isn't that fab? I love that. See, there's all sorts. There's absolutely all sorts in these books that I have not made and really should. Sit myself down. Oh, look at this. This is definitely on my to-do list. Oh, isn't that fab? Oh, I love it. Mum and baby. Oh, that is lovely. And them little hats. I'm definitely making that. I'm definitely making this. I'm definitely making that. I am going to try and make something out of all these books this year, even if it's only a small thing. Anyway, this is Peek a Pow book number three. Oh, I didn't notice that as well. Look, look at this adorable mouse. Oh, I like that too. Hmm, need to get on, don't I? So, them are my peak pals. Now, let me just tell you, these two are two of my very favourite books. And my lovely friend Susan and I have tried to make an item out of this book. I cannot tell you how many times. And it's by Kate Brunting and it's called Let's Go Camping. Lovely book, really lovely, lovely book. And I'll just, I'll flick through and show you a few of the things, but let me just show you what Susan and I have tried to make, I don't know how many times, and frustratingly, we cannot, for the life of us, get it right. And it's so frustrating. And it is the caravan. It's not difficult to do. The actual, it's just, look, it's just single crochet, decreases, increases, and I do not know why we couldn't, we, we just couldn't get, we just couldn't do it. You have to cut boards out and then you have to stretch the, the, the material or the crocheted fabric over the board and oh, it was so difficult. But do you know what? If it's one thing I am going to do out of all these books this year, it is that. I am going to make the caravan. I just love it. It's fabulous. Everything about it, the colour, what's in it. It's got bunk beds in it. It's got a cooker in it. It's got, well, oh no, it's not a cooker. It's a sink. And um, this here is a sink. And this is obviously a cupboard. Oh, I just love it. But there's so many things in this book. It's just fabulous. Look, there is a boat house with boats. Um, oh, look at this one. Ice cream van. See, these are the things that I love making. These are just right up my street, as they say. They make me really happy, content. I'm in my own little world and happy as anything when I'm making well stuff like this I know it sounds ridiculous a grown woman wanting to make a load of kids toys and have it all over her house but I just love it camping tents I just love the tents so you get the gist so out of everything this year that I'm or, or out of everything in this book that I'm going to show you oh look at this the barge oh it's just fabulous Um, yeah, out of everything I'm going to show you, I want to make the caravan. And I'm going to 100% try and do it this year. And then this book is from the same lady, Kate Brunting, and it's called Stanley and the Hot Air Balloon. And this, again, just so adorable. Look at the little rabbit in the hot air balloon. And I'd like to make this. Let me just show you. Here's the rabbit's. Very, very simple, but adorable. And let me, I want to show you the hot air balloon. There's a story in it. It's just, it's just lovely. It's a storybook. There is Stanley in the hot air balloon. And again, I'd love to make that. In fact, I'm going to put these two books onto one side and I am going to make this my mission. There's the balloon. Oh, I love it. Isn't it lovely? 
So yeah, these two. definitely going to get done. I'm definitely going to do that. <laughs> right and then my next one is the mini kingdom. I'm sure you've seen this before. I've had this quite recently and again I love this. Oh, everything about this is just so Oh, damn cute. Let me show you. I have seen this made up. Let me just show you. Wait, bear with me. Where is it? When I say I've seen it made up, I've seen it made up on the screen. And those of you that follow Ali from Little Drops of Wonderful, the Joker here, Ali made that for her youngest, I think it was her youngest daughter. It might have been her eldest daughter. Ali from Little Drops of Wonderful makes a homemade gift, a handmade gift every year for a children's birthday. Um, and this one, it was either last year or the year before, I'm not sure, but Ali made that and it looked really, really nice. She actually said it, it wasn't that difficult to make, so that's quite nice. Dinner is served, the lady. <laughs> that's Timothy. That's Timothy telling me dinner is served. Um, I will be back momentarily when I have had my roast beef Sunday dinner. Wait there, I won't be long. Right, sorry about that. I am back after having my Sunday lunch. Timothy made us a beautiful roast beef dinner. It was really yummy. Um, it's been about an hour since I was last here. Yeah, I just had to have a sit down for five minutes and have a cup of tea and let me dinner go down and now I'm all raring to go again. Right, so let's get back to where we was. We was on the, the Mini Kingdom book, wasn't we? So again, fabulous things out of here. Like I say, Ali from Little Drops of Wonderful has made things out of here. As, as um, Dawn from the Woven Al Almanac, she's made things. And I've made out of this book that I still have, my little bee. Isn't that adorable? Let me show you. So I, I've been sneezing as well again. And here is my tiny, tiny little bee. Isn't that adorable? You see, things like this, even though, as this is how my husband says to me, what's what's the use in that? What you gonna what are you gonna do with that? But I love it on my shelf. I have a couple of little tiny shelves and a little set of drawers over there that I keep all these kind of things on. You can take the hat off, look, it's a bear bee. And then you can put the hat back on. But yeah, quite fancy making more of them. So yeah, that's the Mini Kingdom and I like that one as well. Now, unfortunately, that is all I've got to show you with what's left of my books. Because like I say, I've either sold them or um, to make money for Ukraine or I've given them away as gifts. Anyway, this is one, again, that I was inspired by... Um, Elise from Le Petite Saint Crochet. Elise had made this. Lu is it Lula? Lula here. This is Lula. This book is called Lula and her Amigurumi Friends. Um, I don't know who it's by. I can't pronounce them. So I'm not even going to try. I'll just tell you what the book's called. Then you can go off and find it. So this one is Lula and her Amigurumi friends. And it's a family as well, but it doesn't say it on there. But this and her brother is what inspired me to get this book. And those, those are the two things that I wanted to make from this book. There is a lot of things in here. Oh, this, I'm definitely, definitely going to make this one. Grandpa. That just reminds me, every time I look at it, look at it, it makes me laugh. It just reminds me of my dad. Oh, my darling father. He was such a lovely man, my dad. My dad had, he actually had a moustache as well like that. Let me get closer so you can see. That was my dad all over when he was on holiday. My mum used to call my dad's legs. My dad had a very, very slim legs and his knees, she used to refer to them as knots on cotton. And that's just how he looked. It was just like a piece of cotton hanging through his shorts. There was this much material and this much leg. It looked so funny, but he was a 
absolute adorable man my dad so that reminds me of my dad and i'm going to definitely do that as well as well as let me show you lula where is she and she's got a little teddy bear oh she's just adorable there you go quite fancy making lula and I'm sure you'll all know what I'm going to, what I will be using. 99.9% .9 of the time, I will no doubt be using Sheepy's Katona or Stonewash. Um, let me find her brother. They've got a little Dalmatian dog. Where's her brother gone? Oh, I can't find him now. Oh, here he is. Is this him? Bo. And that's... Bo, her brother. So I'd like to make that too. In fact, what I should do, instead of putting my books that I have back on my shelf, the ones that I really, really want to make things out of, I should put to one side and then not put them away and it will prompt me to make something. Then the next one, I have had this book a very long time and I absolutely love it. And I've, again, I've made lots of things out of this book, but unfortunately they are either with my granddaughters or with my ch my friend's children. Um, yeah, everything I've made out of here I've given away. And this is an Emma Varnum and this is the cute crocheted animals. Now, all, for me, this is what does it for me. I can pick a book up, see that, the little tiny clothes and the adorable duffel uh, coat. And I think I've got to have that book. And it doesn't matter what's inside because that is enough for me. Um, there is some beautiful things. Look at that bunny rabbit. See, I'd love to make that. I have made that before, but I made that and gifted it. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm going all bunged up now because I've had a sneezing fit. And then you've got all your pictures here of everything that you can make. Basics and then clothes and all sorts. Look at this. Let me just show you. This is what I want to make. Is that not just adorable? I can see me making that too. Oh, look at this one. Look at that one there. Oh, that is lovely. You see, there's, there's, there's just no reason, seriously, no reason why I need to go out and buy any patterns, yarn. Well, I might need to buy the odd ball of yarn because obviously certain clothes, I am a glutton for things being right. I've got to have. So I would read this pattern because I'd quite fancy doing that. And I would, to have, I would have to have what it was made in, the colour it was made in. And if I couldn't get exactly the same, I would have to get the most closest to it that I could possibly get. I am so anal when it comes to things like that, but it's just me. That's just how I am and that's how I've always been and no doubt that's how I will carry on being. I just like things done right and I like them to look right. Um, Yeah, so there's quite a few things in this one. Oh, look at this. You see, I love the fox. Now, I'm not normally into things like that, foxes and such like, but I quite like that. And this trendy little outfit on that side. Anyway, I won't go into too much into that. So this is the cute crocheted animals. Isn't it lovely? So that's another one. Now, this is another one that I've had a really, really long time and never done anything with. In fact, this book, The Crochet Doll, I think I bought this when I was still dental nursing. And we used to have a guy come round to the surgery and he had a book club and we bought books from him. And I'm almost certain this is where I got this one from. And again, never bought, made anything out of it. Um, but you see, look at this. Let me show you this. Oh, look at that. All ready for bed. See. You've got all this opportunity and all I do is stick it on a shelf and just ignore it. And I have all these opportunities to make things. These are the basic dolls. Trip to the doctors. Oh, she's got around in a sling with a teddy bear. Oh, you see, why do I not use these things? 
Oh, look at this. Oh, my word. Oh, isn't that adorable? But she's also got a case to sleep in. You ready? Oh, isn't that lovely? Oh, this is definitely one that's going to be kept out. And you can actually make that. Oh, I need to make that. Anyway, I have to... Look at this. This is at the beach. So she's on a lilo there with a swimsuit on and in a little pool. Oh, look at that. Yeah, you see, you could just... I can see my room being filled. Watch this space. By the end of the year again, I'm going to have to have another clear out. I'm not even finished the last clear out yet. And look at this. You see, I love this. She's at the Arctic. Antarctic. At the North Pole. At the North Pole. Oh. Anyway, so yeah, there's, there's lots and lots and lots. Let's see if there's just one more I can show you. No, this is all the instructions now. But yeah, I do know that this book has been out a long time because I have had it a long time. And it's my crocheted doll. And I love that one too. Now this one. I love this one. And I actually, when I went on holiday last September with my friends Susan and Denise, I actually bought the yarn to make something out of this book. And I still haven't got round to it. It's the Beatles, Bugs and Butterflies. That's a brilliant, it's a brilliant book, this. Um, I'll try and say this, pronounce it. It's Lay 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 Lay. Anyway, it's that lady or that person. Um, and Sue made me one of these um, in one of my advents. No, I don't. Oh, I do know where it is. It's um, it's something like this that she made me. Um, but I put it away in all the Christmas tree stuff because I put it on my Christmas tree when she gave it me. And I tend to put everything together in my Christmas tree stuff. Um, again, some fabulous things. And I'm sure all these, look at this, I love that. I'm sure a lot of these books that I've shown you, people have either seen them or got them, or they certainly will, if you like me, be on your to get list. Um, yeah, just absolutely love all this. See, look at this. Isn't that lovely? So, yeah, that's another one of my books that I really should keep oh. out. Oh, can you hear the dog barking? So, let him in. Just bear with me a second. Right, I've let the demanding dog in. Um, my next one, this one was, in fact, the next two was a gift from um, the lovely Paula from Stitch by Mrs. D. Paula got in touch with me, I think it was a couple of years ago now, and said, I've had these. I don't know if, if they was gifted to her. Um, she said, but I'm never going to use them. Would you like them? And she very, very kindly sent them to me. And again, they've been on my shelf and I've never done anything with them. Um, and this is the Mabel Bunny and Co. I'm sure everybody has heard of this. I would love, let me show you what I would love to make. And next time I go to a show, in fact, it will probably be Yarndale because this company are normally, can't remember what they're called. Well, Marble Bunny and Co. I think that's what they call. But this company is normally at Yarndale, and I would love to make Mabel. It's not Marble. It's Mabel. Mabel Bunny and Co. Not Marble. Oh, hell. Um, I'd love to make that, and I would again really, really love to make it in the um, yarn it suggests. But I do know that it's a really, it's a chunky yarn. And for the large one, you you need quite a lot of wool. And then for the smaller one, you need not quite as much. But I would love to make that big one there for if I ever have any grandchildren of my own. I have got grandchildren, love them like they're my own. But I mean, my two children. 
I would love my granddaughter or grandson to have one of those. So yeah, that was off um, Paula from Stitch by Mrs D. Very kindly donated. Thank you very much, Paula. And then this next one. And if you are a long-term viewer here, you will know that my eyes actually lit up when I unwrapped this one. And it's Ed Edward's Menagerie, the new collection. Look at this. Oh, I love it. And again, there's just so much in here. I could go on and on. I'll show you a couple of things. Um, oh, look at this little fella. I would imagine, I'm not sure, but I would imagine that's uh, Kerry's son. But I don't know. Kerry is the lady who is behind the company, Toft. Um, there's a couple of, oh, this is what I'd like to make. This is Prince the White Tiger. Isn't that lovely? And I actually think I've got some black toff left. I'm not sure about white. So I might have to... You're all right, fella. I might have to buy a ball of white. But I'd love to make that. Um, now, I'd really like to make a pig. But I don't know if there's a pig in here. Ox. Oh, no, that's a possum. No, I don't think, I'm not sure. I, I can't say whether there is or not because I haven't come across one. But there's quite a few things in here that I'd like to make. Um, and yeah, fab, another fabulous book uh, by Kerry Lord. Highly recommend that. Nice hardback. Um, yeah, and this, and another one gifted from Paula. Thanks very much, Paula. Love these. And then finally, last but no means least. This is my latest one that I've just bought, just before Christmas. And I was inspired to purchase this by my lovely friend, Helen, who is Mousy Makes Podcast. And it's Edward's Crochet Doll Emp Emporium. Is that how you say it? Emporium? Yeah. Um, and I was inspired. Let me show you the pictures on the back. I was inspired because Helen has got a camper van. And it's a fabulous camper van. And she made a doll from this book called Pearl. And she lives in a camper van and she travels everywhere with her. Um, it's a fabulous book. You, you can swip and swap. So you can choose. I'll show you in a minute. But look at this. So these are some of the colours that you can use. You can do a mohawk. Mo mohawk. I can't remember what them kind of haircuts are called. Then you can have long hair and there's all the different colours. But what you can do is you can mix and match. So you can have, just say for instance, you wanted um, this costume. So you wanted a super person's costume with the cape and the boots and, you know, the belt and all that kind of thing. And there you wanted... To put that head on it so you can swap around let me do one more for you um so i want to make um a young lady so let me find i quite like this but i don't know and i quite i quite fancy long hair long flowing locks now there is a lady here with long hair or a girl whichever you want to call it there you go. But I wouldn't have a hair up like that. I would let a hair go all wild and nice and long hair. That's what I do. So that is my Toft book. And again, I should, I need to make a list. That's what I need to do. So yeah, that is my um, hashtag Amagurumi books um, that I wanted to share with you. Don't know if I've done it right. I, I've not, never seen many of these. I've only seen a couple of videos where people are showing you all the books that they've got for Amagurumi. And like I said, in, I think you do have to nominate two people. So I have been thinking about this while I've been on and off the video, like up and down, up and down. And I would like to nominate for the Amigurumi book, Am Amigurumi book tag hashtag whatever it's called I'll, I'll put it on the screen i would like to nominate stephanie from the crafty dragonfly and i would also like to nominate because she would fantastically do this i know she would helen from mousy makes pods 
uh, podcast. Um, so yeah, that is it for today. Like I say, there's not going to be uh, the normal, if you like, um, video up because I have had a busy week. As in, I've been out a couple of times for a, for a couple of days. I had a day out with some friends, which I will tell you all about in the next podcast. Um, I've been crocheting like crazy to help somebody out and sewing. I've done loads and loads of sewing this week. I've really enjoyed my sewing time and I basically haven't done very much of my own crafting um, at all this week. But that's fine because, you know, you get other things that you need to do and you have to prioritise, don't you? So it is going to be short but sweet today, although there has been lots of breaks in it. So I do apologise for that. Um, I hope you've all had a nice week and, um, and that's it. I shall see you all next week. Take care and have a lovely week. Take care. Bye.